It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Tennessee Titans. And it's all up next. It's the building that was open the year the franchise became known as the Titans. Welcome to Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. And Brock, and a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the group. I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chuck yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. The punter Jack Fox to get this one started. And away we go from Nashville. Julius Chestnut to return. This return makes it up to the 25. So following the return, looks like somebody's shaken up. Trainers have to determine how severe this may be. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. On the play fake, it's Levis. This is Ridley working the right side. And he pushes it up across the 30 before going out. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. The first carry here for Tony Pollard. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. It now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Levis from the shotgun. Finds him over the middle. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. Punt team is on now. Now, and they get this away. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. So now it's the Lions' turn to head out for the first time on offense. And leading them out in his ninth NFL season, he experienced a real resurgence last year. It's Jared Goff. The questions about Jared Goff's future as an NFL starter, whether he's a long-term answer in Detroit, those are long gone. This offseason signing a lucrative, lucrative deal including over 170 million guaranteed dollars. What I love about what he's done in the Motor City is he's created a sense of belief, a confidence that they have been waiting for, clamoring for. When he steps on the field and into that huddle, he elevates everybody around him. He's made believers in Detroit. Quite a redemption story for Jared Goff. And he'll cover up as they touch him down a few yards short of the first. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Running on second with Montgomery. Oh, the football's loose. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. Well, sure, you're looking to try to get a first down on second down. You're trying to create a manageable third down, but I'll tell you what you're not trying to do ever is give the ball away. And that's what the offense does to the defense right there.
The Titans offense out to the field, ready for their second drive. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Trying the inside handoff to Pollard. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. I don't know, kid. I didn't think he had it. That back did. He knew exactly where he had to get for the first down. Pops up right away and signals first down. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and 10. From the red zone now. Fires right away, but incomplete. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Levis to the air now. It's complete to Hopkins. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. You'll hear defensive coaches all the time really ask their players to pull the trigger. Read, react, diagnose, and when you see it, go fire away. And that's exactly what the defense does to take away that screen. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Levis now off the play fake. That throw finds Okonkwo. And he goes out, approaching that 10-yard line. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. So the Titans left with a fourth down, and we're going to see Nick Folk after the try. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to get them on the scoreboard. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Greg Reynolds to return it. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Lions and running back David Montgomery getting back to work. And their defense held up after that fumble. Only gave up three. So time for this offense to make it up to them. Get some points of their own. will start out with a first and ten. He gives to Montgomery to start the drive. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know, it is so refreshing for these running backs when they have space to run. It's hard. There's so many collisions between the tackles. When they get on the edge and have green grass, one of the best of them take advantage of it. Motion in one of the tight ends. Goff on first and ten. Can't get it to him. Incomplete. Yeah, I know nobody's perfect. And all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap here to go. Finds Laporta. And defenders are there to get him at the line. Tackle made by Ernest Jones. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. 
Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Out of the shotgun. Gone. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 38 out of the play. And that'll be first down, Detroit. This defense did the best they could to track him as he ran all the way across the field, but eventually, you're just going to lose him. And that's when a completion was made and turned it into a significant gain. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. The toss play, Montgomery. And he will get this to the end zone for a Detroit touchdown. The Lions pull ahead 6-3 in the first. David Montgomery with the touchdown. Well, he found himself some space to work, and from there, all athleticism as he made his way in for six. You know, you run the ball down in the red zone, Kate, you're not always thinking touchdowns, right? Space is so hard to come by, mm -hmm. but you're exactly right. His athleticism, his explosion, his speed, it puts six on the board for the offense. Now it's Jake Bates for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Lions take a four-point lead. Fox now to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Tajay Spears. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So the Tennessee offense headed out for another series. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we have been seeing so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the gun, Levis. Okonkwo brings it in. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. That is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. First and 10, it's Pollard. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Throwing now, off play action. Hauled in by Tyler Boyd. And this one's worked out of the 33 before being stopped. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. Levis here on first down. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Shotgun now for Levis. Pocket isn't holding up, they're able to drop him. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. 
Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Levis setting to throw. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Ryan Stonehouse back out there again to punt it away. This is away, and once again, he's caught all of it. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. Now the Lions offense gets ready to return to the field. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. A tight end in motion now. We go play action with golf. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Not a person in this stadium didn't start tensing up the way I did up in the booth. You could feel that goal line coming, right? Pressure right in his face. Nearly turns into a couple points now. Well, now you got to be so careful. No breathing room for the next snap. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. A give up the gut to Montgomery. And his drive up the middle gets him about three. It's Kenneth Murray on the tackle. As an offense in these situations, Kate, you could feel your own goal line. And you're not going to risk putting the ball in the air. So that means you're going to run it, and you're going to buy whatever breathing room you can. Not a good spot to punt from. They really want to convert here on third. From the gun, Goff. Got Williams, and it's complete. And he gets this across the 10 before stepping out. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. On comes Jack Fox to handle the fourth down punt for the Lions. Fair catch called for and taken just beyond midfield. So no return on that punt. And the Titans will get sent to take over. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Back now, pressure on its way. Throwing the out route complete. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Ball at the 33 for first down. Levis now against the blitz. Completed over the middle. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend, do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. They are now set for first and ten. Working inside the red zone. Has him on the quick hitter. That 
That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Kate, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Up the middle, here goes Pollard. And he's got them down at the doorstep inside the five. Give him five yards. Things looking good. Second and goal now from the two. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Ball at the two here for second and goal. Pollard. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. It's a gain of a yard, but they needed just a couple more inches. Third down. And an offensive group really hoped he was going to get it all right there. Reset it back to first down. But instead, the defense, well, they're not going to let anything come easy. And their fight is giving them a chance to stall things out on a third and short. And the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay a game. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hits zero. Till third down. So now from a bit further back, here's third and goal. Levis. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Tennessee! Titans hold a slim two-point lead early. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back-and-forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. Nick Folk now for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Titans push their lead to three. now to kick this one away starting from the five coverage team gets him down at the 26 yard line they're out and set first and ten Looking to throw. Gone. Finds his man. He loses the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they limit the damage on the return, but it is still a turnover. Well, that didn't take long, Brock. One play, and they're back out there. Well, that's how a defense can make you awfully happy as an offensive player, especially when you screw it up and you fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. First and ten now from the 30. Throwing now following the turnover. Into the hands of Okonkwo. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. We will not get another play in here. That's going to do it for quarter number one. Just a field goal separates these two. More from Nissan Stadium coming up after the break.
We're ready to go with the second quarter, and it's Titans football. They have it second down, well inside of field goal range. On the ground, Pollard. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard gain. Alex Anzalone there on the stop. Give him four on that run. That's going to bring up third and five. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Has the connection to Ridley. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Throwing now on first down. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. You know, Kate, defenders today are top. Don't just go get the sack. Go get the sack and the fumble. It's become an art form. Making that strip sack and that play was a masterpiece. The Lions returning their offense and this running back to the field. And I'm sure they all got a stern lecture on ball security between possessions after they fumbled it away on their last series. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Off. St. Brown there to bring it in. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. First down, ball at the 36. Goff to the air now. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. You know, with some of these tight ends today, you could put two guys, heck, put three guys on them, and they still find a way to make those catches. With how they move at their size, they really are the ultimate matchup advantage. Montgomery now up the middle. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Off play action, Goff. St. Brown's got it, complete. Ooh, play didn't develop like he needed. He goes out behind the line. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Shotgun snap here to go. That's to the sideline. It's a catch by Williams. And he's out of bounds after getting this one to the opposing 45-yard line. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Here's a nickel look by the Titans. Third down. Out of the shotgun. Gone. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that gives the Lions the first. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They're set up at the 35 now. Off on first and ten. That's caught at the four. And in 
for the Detroit touchdown. I think we actually saw him call it early there, Brock. He made that throw and then he signaled it was gonna be a touchdown. Like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird? Ooh. In the three-point shooting contest of the 80s? Or maybe I like know, a Tyrese you... Maxey, you know, but whatever. Well, I, the kids aren't alive, I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did. And he anticipated, just like the quarterback. Bates now for the point after. Point set right down the middle. And the Lions take a four point Fox now to kick this one away. Here's Chestnut on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. We'll get another look at this Tennessee offense. And they know they let Port slip away with that fumble in the red zone, Brock. They're looking to get him back here. start out with a first and ten. They'll start this one on the ground with Pollard. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Levis from the shotgun. Oconquo brings it in. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. Kirby Joseph up for the stop. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target, thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. On third down, Pollard. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Perception and reality, Kate. The perception out there from the public is edge rushers are defined by their sacks. The reality in a locker room and in the huddle is you can be defined by your relentlessness. And his motor never stopped. Helped him track it down for a loss on the outside. Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. Fair catch hauled in at the 18-yard line. The Lions back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Running left, it's Montgomery. And it's almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Monty Hooker with the tackle. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Here we go, second and nine. Throw complete to Williams. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Here's Montgomery. That's a first and even more past the 40. 
And he's finally brought down at the 45-yard line. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the gun, gone. Pass taken in by St. Brown. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be first down, Detroit. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. On first down, they'll run with Montgomery. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Tackle made by Ernest Jones. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Is that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field? All I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's a middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. First game on the ground to Jameer Gibbs. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. It's Kenneth Murray on the tackle. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. And the Titans opt in for a 50-B. A nickel set third down. Setting up the running back screen. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. First and 10 now from the 30. Throwing is gone. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They go play action with Gaw. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. When nothing opens up, that becomes a pretty clear throwaway spot. I mean, that is textbook throwaway spot right there, Kate. Get outside the box, chuck it into the third row, and avoid exactly what happened right there. Because now third down is so much harder. Let's see what they went with on third down. Here's Gaw. Setting up the screen. And he's able to get this down to the 36. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Well, I sit and judge the defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on in the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. That brings us to the two-minute warning at Nashville. The Lions likely setting out the special teams unit. On fourth down, the Lions going to try to put three on the board here with Jake Bates. Ball in the left hash, the distance 53 yards. It's no good, and had the leg, but his aim wide right. And a four-point lead, it shall remain. He was hitting from that distance pregame. Heck, we were on the field watching it, and they were confident he could do so again. It just did not work out this time around. The Titans ready to take over on offense. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Good starting field position for the Titans. They've got it. First and ten. Shotgun now for Levis. 
That throw finds Okonkwo. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Titans in a hurry up trying to get this play off fast. Levis now on first down. Has his man. It's Ridley. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Now we get a timeout taken by the Titans. That's their first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. From the gun, Levis. Throw came out right as the defense got to him. That's an incomplete pass. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who could close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Levis throwing again. To the sideline, complete, and he's got the first down as he stays in bounds. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First down, ball at the 36. They are throwing it again. This one finds Boyd. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. To the line we go. They're set. First and ten. They send the tight end in motion. This one's caught. It's quarterback. When you have an off route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Now Levis. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans get some late points and the lead. Now the second time we've had the privilege of calling a touchdown pass to him in this opening half, Brock, and you're starting to get the feeling that he isn't done yet. Well, but defensively, Kate, you got to do something different. It's kind of like a pitcher who gives up a home run and then a second home run to that same guy. You are not going to give him a pitch to hit, and this defense has got to start taking this receiver away. Folk on now to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Titans push their lead to three. now to kick this one away. Reynolds with a return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The visitors and this running back headed back out for a new series. And that front is really going to need to buckle down and provide some more opposition because he's gotten off to an excellent start here. a minute to go in our half. Let's see how they begin the drive. 
First down throw from Goff. Finds Laporta. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Move the chains! Gotta move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Markers reset, ball at the 37. On first down, it's gone. The screen pass falls incomplete. This one intended for the running back. And that'll bring up second down. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap here to go. That's him on the quick hitter. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Jeffrey Simmons that time on the tackle. Here's a nickel look by the Titans. Third down. Throwing again. It's gone. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Out of the shotgun, gone. Another turnover, this time it's an interception! And the Titans will start with it in the fourth after an interception to end the quarter. Short throw to the sideline, partner. Normally works for them, right? Yep. But a cornerback lying in wait that time jumps in to make the pick. Those sneaky corners, Kate. You always gotta keep your eye on them. Offenses love this area of the field because they're easy completions. But, as a QB, you gotta use your eyes. You've got to look that corner off Otherwise, he's going to jump the throw and get that easy INT. Good starting field position for the Titans. They've got it. First and ten. Throwing is Levis. And that is incomplete. Eight seconds left now. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Looking to throw. That pass complete to Boyd. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Here comes the final play of our first half. One final shot before halftime. He puts some air under it. Deep down the middle it goes. It's halftime here in Nashville. The Titans giving the fans something to cheer about. They're in front at the break. Now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Titans got a strong first half out of the Kentucky man, their quarterback, Will Levis. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Reynolds with a return. 
and a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. This offense running out for a new series, led by their running back. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be fire to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They send a tight end in motion. Goff on first and ten. Wright reels it in. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. Motion in the tight end now. It's Montgomery on the counter. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. He got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. Goff setting the throw. Pass complete to Gibbs. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. It's Kenneth Murray on the tackle. That's a defense's goal, right, Cake? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Here he is on third and long. Completed over the middle. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. The Lions ready for the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. And that's going to pin them as deep as it can go. They're going to be set up inside their own five-yard line. The Titans and Will Levis set to take over again. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. They're out and set, first and ten. Levis setting to throw. Fits it through the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Excellent pickup to move the chains, 36 yards in the end. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. From the 39 now, after that explosive start to this drive. Boyd will go in motion right. They don't get this snapped in time. This is going to back them up. Man in motion wasn't set in time, just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still first down. They'll have to come up with five extra yards now after that first down flag. They'll run here following the penalty. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. A type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Back to the line they go. It's second down. 
Levis from the shotgun. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. That's going to leave him with a tough third and long. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Throwing his Levis on third down. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Tried getting it to Calvin Ridley. And that brings up fourth and long. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Here comes the Titans punting unit. Secures this at the 17. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The visitors and Jared Goff set to take over on offense once again. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Running out of the gun with Montgomery. Duke's at a one stop. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. One of the tight ends motioning right. They go play action with Goff. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, right? You gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't. They call the pass, and the defense reacts and reacts well with a sack. Second down. They bring the tight end in motion. Another try following the sack. They're on him again, and he goes down again. And the back-to-back -back sacks. Nice work by the defense there. Sets him up with a third down. You think corners? You think picks. But that's about the only thing he doesn't have yet today, Kate. He's got the fumble recovery. He's now got a sack. He's been playing a physical brand of football, exactly what today's NFL is all about with those players on the perimeter. So a really tough spot here. This is third and a country mile. From the gun, Goff. He lofts it deep left. Big game downfield. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. you got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45. Brock with a new set of downs to boot. On first down, it's Gibbs. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. It's Kenneth Murray on the tackle. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. The only thing I could say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Throwing is gone. Montgomery hauls this one in. And he gets him around six there. Taken down by Sebastian Joseph Day. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, 
These little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Pass taken in by St. Brown. And they get this down to the 28. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that gives the Lions the first. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. All set up now for first and 10. A give now to Montgomery. He locates a couple of yards through that chaos. Arden Key there for the stop. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. From the 26 on second down. He's got it near the 10. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. Give him about 16 yards on that game, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Tight end going in motion here. He'll run here. It's Montgomery. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. No gain that time, and now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line, and the defense, well, they did the job on first down. More to come. And he found some running room for a nice game. They pick up nine on the carry, and that sets up third and inches. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. Gibbs. With some fancy footwork there for the touchdown. The Lions take a third quarter lead. It's a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. Bates now for the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Lions take a four-point lead. Fox now to kick this one away. Here's Chestnut on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Out come the Titans for another offensive possession. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. drive will start out with a first and ten. From the gun, Levis. Short pass brought in. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Ryan Branch getting there for the tackle. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. With third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and Take that shot. Shotgun now for Levis. 
Left side cut by Ridley. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. New set of downs for him at the 38. Throwing now on first down, Levis. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. Guys, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He could take it to the house. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Levis now on first down. That's going to be caught. Tony Pollard. Pick up of a few as he heads out of bounds. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Slot man motioned over. Levis throwing again. Has the connection. Fights off the tackle, but he lost the ball. He left the ball behind. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. Well, where one defender failed, Brock, another succeeded. He shook free of that first tackle, but the next guy not only made that hit, but knocked it loose as well. Kate, as we saw when he broke that first tackle, he can absorb a shot, right? He's got great what they call contact balance to absorb it and keep going. But that second hit, well, that drove the ball free and leads to this takeaway. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing now, following the turnover. Gets this one to Patrick. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's Lions ball as they try to keep that lead and close out a win. Second and three now. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Running on second with Montgomery. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Give him three on that game. And that'll be first down Detroit. You know what I like about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down, but you know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play-action pass in a similar down and distance, and that defense is going to have to key on the run. Enough to Gibbs from the gun. And the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force and the defense wins out. Off play action, Goff. He puts everything behind this one. He's got it inside the 25. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. I try to remind you a time or two, Kate, that you always got to start your read from the secondary forward. You got to see what the safeties are doing. If you're going to throw a ball in the middle third deep downfield like that, you have to have tremendous awareness of where those safeties were, and the QB just nailed it. All set up for an insurance score here. It's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Has it in close. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. 
You know what I love to say, you never go broke taking a profit. If you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Shotgun snap here to golf. And he will score. It's a Detroit touchdown. The Lions capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. It's a Sam Laporta touchdown. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock, and there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough, borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route just like a receiver would, and it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. Bates now for the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Lions drive their lead to 11. Fox now to kick this one away. Here's Chestnut on the return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Titans are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And it just feels like he's been fighting uphill since this one kicked off today, doesn't it? The mistakes just canceling out a lot of what he's been able to do offensively on the positive end of things. This defense, man, they have seized on the mistakes and made life difficult. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Levis now off the play fake. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Final quarter. This quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra, try to make something happen outside the pocket. But the problem, <laughs> defense wouldn't let them. They have that same kind of urgency. They want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers. And they got one right there with that sack. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the sack. And that one looked like an interception for a second. Instead, it's incomplete. Defender couldn't hang on to it. Third down coming up. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> Well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Man in motion out of the slot. Here he is on third and long. That one complete to Hopkins. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. <laughs> I'll tell you, that is a humbling moment to see a completed third down pass actually go backwards instead of towards the sticks. They'll send out the punting unit. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. The visitors ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. Good field position for the Lions here as they head up to the line, first and ten. Motioning one of the tight ends. 
First down throw from Goff. St. Brown there to bring it in. Duke the defender. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play as well as a new set of downs. I love this, Kate. No issues at all going to this receiver in the short field because they know at any time when this man touches the ball, he could transform a short completion into a big play. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. This is Montgomery. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy, right? Grab some cloth and drive him to the ground with all you got. They go play action with golf. He intercepts it. That is exactly what they needed. The money hooker has it. And the Titans have some new life in the fourth. Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience in the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. So now here comes the Titans on offense. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. They're out and set, first and ten. On the play fake, it's Levis. Throw reeled in by Hopkins. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Titans will have a first down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. Here we go, second and nine. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. He was doing all he could to find a completion down the field, but they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. And the Lions into a nickel set for third down. Levis to the air now. Pass taken in by Pollard. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down, sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness that's coming, and then more importantly, to stop it. They'll go, it's Pollard. Jukes one defender. Through the 35. 20, 15. And they take it across the goal line. Touchdown, Tennessee. The Titans now within one score in the fourth. Tony Pollard with the touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers, and what a big-time effort. Here we go, the Titans setting up for a big two-point attempt. The Titans will line up for the two-point He's throwing for it! 
And the call to go for it, not rewarded as the pass falls incomplete. So a little pressure alleviated by the touchdown, but plenty still remains. Going to need to manufacture another trip to the end zone as they trail by five. This feels a little bit like a golf event to me, Kate, where those golfers will spend a big round not even looking at the scoreboard, not even know where they sit. But then when it gets down to winning time, they do know exactly what they need. And to consider that golf analogy, well, this team now needs a birdie when it matters the most. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Reynolds with a return. Finds some space. He's past the 30. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. Ball at the 33 for first down. Putting the tight end in motion. Goff on first and 10. That one's incomplete over the middle. No luck finding his receiver that time. And we'll see what they do here on second down. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Running this with Montgomery. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. The rookie from Texas there on the tackle. A humble five, six-yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game-changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Third and four coming up now. From the gun, gone. He puts some power on a deep one. Look, that's grabbed inside the 30. He will go. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions make it a two-possession game here in the fourth. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Bates now for the point after. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Lions push the lead up to 12. Fox now to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Spears. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Here comes their offense out again. Their last drive contained a heavy dose of the ground game. A little old school dominance on the way to a touchdown, Brock. Let's see if they stick with it or if they go aerial this time around. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. From the gun, Levis. Pass caught by Ridley. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. 
They've got a man in motion. From the 33 on second down. It's complete to Hopkins. And he's brought down for a loss. You call that receiver screen, and every once in a while, that wide receiver, well, he's got to be his own blocker. He's got to make the first guy or two miss. That didn't happen. Play goes nowhere. Third and just two to go. He's got it on the bootleg. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainers heading out to take a look. First and 10 from the 41. Levis throwing again. Okonkwo brings it in. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. You want to start a good debate sometime, Kate? Go in an NFL locker room and ask which position is the best athlete. <laughs> the big guys, the left tackles, will tell you it's them. The corners will tell you it's them. But I'll tell you what. These tight ends of today, the way they can run and break tackles and get in the open field, they truly are some of the best athletes on the team. Throwing now on first down, Levis. Has him on the quick hitter. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Okay, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. Here's second and two. Short pass brought in. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. That one ends up a gain of six. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Offense up to the line fast. Levis here on first down. Into the hands of Okonkwo. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Good luck defending that short yardage slam. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Offense in the hurry up here. Levis from the shotgun. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First down from the red zone. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone, incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Shotgun now for Levis. That one's incomplete in the end zone. I just hate that. I just hate to see that everything on the play was done so well. Everybody did their job, but you got to finish. You don't get many chances to make that type of play for your team. you got to come through on that touchdown. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Levis back to throw. He's on the move. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Tennessee. The Titans now within one score in the fourth. Will Levis with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain, he did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. 
you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. That one right down the middle. And the Titans trim the deficit down to five. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Return coming from the six. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. This will be the last play before our two-minute warning. They motion the tight end over. It gives to Montgomery to start the drive. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Here we go, second down. Staying on the ground with Montgomery. And he's brought down. They're spotting this one right at the 20. So quickly the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. They'll run again with Montgomery. A nice run here past the 35. And he's brought down at the 44. Now whistles and a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 150 left to go. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45. Brock with a new set of downs to boot. First down, and they go right back to him. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. The Titans call their third and final timeout. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Headed left, Montgomery. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. A tight end in motion now. He'll look to throw it. Pass taken in by St. Brown. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, and you can make a play in the open field. Keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Got all of it, and this is good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one-score ball game. Kate, it's three more on the scoreboard, but both sides really know it's all about one 
one possession here in the fourth quarter when it really matters. Fox now to kick this one away. He's going to return it from a yard or two deep. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Now to throw. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. He brings up second down. To throw. Trying to push it deep downfield. And he swats that deep shot away, but he better not celebrate just yet. Looks like his contact drew a flag. They may still get this yardage. Ball game is not over just yet. Don't leave those seats. The interference call means we're going to have an untimed down here. One final shot here. Has the connection to Ridley. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. So the Lions get the win on the road. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. Well, that'll do it for us, for Brock Heward and our entire hardworking crew. I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say goodbye from Nashville.